I'm back my peeps and peepettes with the next exciting video review of the Deluxe Battle Zords from the brand new Power Rangers movie which is Hidden Theaters Friday which is only three days from now. So I've fallen behind about a month or two ago on these but hey I have my priorities that I had to take care of so now let's not waste any more time and get to the next Zord. Previously reviewed was the uh, Mammoth Zord which I gotta say was kind of a miss considering that it's basically a brick. Let's see how well the Triceratops does in this review which basically is you know the review. Yeah that totally makes sense right. So anyway Let's get to it. Uh, here's the front of the packaging. Basically, as per take of every single video review, when I can, how I can, I gotta say, the packaging is not that pleasant. It's definitely not collector friendly. There's like nothing protecting the Zords from collecting dust or getting their little kids getting their grimy little dirty hands all over the Zord and you have to clean them when you buy them. It's a mess. I, I, I'm just telling you guys, through experience, that's what I had to do. Yeah. It's that serious. So, anyway, we got a little bit of a promotion here of the uh, Build a Colossal Megazord thing, which, you know, yeah, yeah, we'll get to it shortly. This is where the Blue Ranger minifigure would be. We got a nice profile image of the Red Ranger on the Blue Ranger Zords packaging, and that makes sense, right? So, anyway, on to the back of the packaging, and this is where we got all our key features going on with this Zord. We've got a Ranger cockpit showing off the Blue Ranger inside the cockpit, and we'll get to it shortly. Missile firing feature, which you're not really going to see until I bring this down some more, so there's that. Uh, yeah, we'll get to it in just a minute. We got a nice image of the Blue Ranger standing right next to its deluxe Zord, and to tell you the truth, it looks like a Triceratops. Yay! And then we've got also this little promotion going on with all the Zords and the Rangers and the combination into Colossal Megazord. And that is your standard packaging for the Deluxe Battle Zords. So let's bring in the Deluxe Battle Zord of the Triceratops. And wow, this actually is good. I'm going to tell you guys the truth. Maybe not in play feature, but when it comes to displaying this thing on my shelf and just the overall presence of it, this thing is a beast. I love it. It looks good. Look at that. I mean, come on. This 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 is totally a Triceratops. There's absolutely no way that you cannot accept that. I mean, how can you deny this from being, you know, a nice looking Triceratops? Yeah, sure. It's got additional legs in the front, you know. Uh, but hey, whatever, it's alien technology, so, you know, you just gotta deal with it, just like the fact that we've gotta call the Spider Zord a Mastodon Zord, so, yeah. Um, there's a little bit of some play feature here with articulation, but as you can see, it's just a hollow mess, and that's really all you're gonna get, it's just the back legs, like the Mammoth Zord, sorry, Mastodon Zord, and, uh, there's nothing really for the front, because... This is all one single piece, and it's got two pegs that keeps it locked in place, and there's no way it's going to move at all. But anyway, let's open up the cockpit here so we can see the Blue Ranger in action, and there he is. Bring him out for a moment so we can take a good look at Billy the Blue Ranger. And as you can see, uh, it's basically the same body mold as the other male Ranger minifigures of the set, except that the sculpting of the helmet is completely different. So, yep, there's a change, and I do appreciate change. Change is awesome, even if some of the Zords do look like garbage, but uh, closing that back up. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. There's not much else to really say about uh, this uh, Triceratops Zord. It is what it is, a Triceratops, an alien stylized Triceratops mecha Zord of awesomeness. I love it. Um, bring this up for a moment so I can get the other missile out here. I'll go ahead and show you off this firing feature, which it does have some real play feature going on here. Not to say that the catapult was bad. I mean, if you saw in my previous video review of the Mastodon Zord, that thing actually fired pretty good. So, for what it is, when it works, it works, and it worked in that case. So... Let's see how well this actually works. So we bring up the tail, and this kind of reminds me of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, you know, the actual deluxe Zords, where they got a little bit of some play feature, or not for the deluxe Zords, I mean the TV show, where the tail could actually fire a laser or something. But, uh, you know, 
to have that gimmick put into this toy here, I'm not so sure if it's going to happen in the movie, but for the fact that it's actually a part of the toy, it's nostalgia, it's pretty cool, it's an Easter egg, and I love it. So, uh, let's go ahead and uh, see how far this actually works. I've got two shots, two chances. Comes with two missiles. Let's see. All right, well, let's go ahead and try the yellow one because apparently the first one was a dud. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, they're those kind of missiles that aren't spring launchable. They actually uh, have quite the gap on the inside here. And basically, you got to push them out yourself. And if you don't push with enough force, you're not going to get much out of it. So let's try that again. Fire number two. And that was actually better, but it only went about here, which isn't that far off. As you can see, I flicked it right back on screen. It's right next to my lamp. Uh, that's not much. I got to say, the catapult worked a lot better than this. But, hey, maybe over time I'll get better at it. So, I'm not going to fault it for any reason in particular. But, uh, that's basically it. There's not much else to really say about the Triceratops here. So, let's go ahead and uh, do a brief side-by-side -side comparison to wrap up this video. So here is the previously reviewed Mastodon Battlezord, which, uh, you know, it's a Mastodon. It is. It's an alien stylized Mastodon that's got eight legs for some reason, while this one has six. I, I don't get it, but whatever. And it has a spider web as well, which they call a capture net, and uh, there's no default in it. Uh, so, uh, yep, yeah, there's that. Let's go ahead and bring in one more side-by-side -side comparison with the very first Deluxe Battlezord that I actually reviewed, well, a while back. And that is obviously the Red Rangers T-Rex Battlezord. So, there you go for a good side-by-side -side comparison. And as you can see, this is doing some justice here with the size. I like this. So, uh... Yeah, I think this is going to be a very intriguing combination when I get to it. I mean, I have done it. Just to let you guys know, this is not something that I'm shooting in the dark. I do know what I'm getting myself ahead in. So, uh, you're just going to have to stick around with me if you want to see the overall experience. Because I've got some things to really say about that combination. And it's coming up very shortly. Two more Zords to review. And I'll be getting to that in just a little bit. So, questions, comments, you know what to do. Hit it down below in the comment section of this video. If you like today's video review, hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you want to see other video reviews similar to the one you're seeing here today. From the reviewing station, this is your King Rez Power signing off saying thank you very much for watching this. And I will see you whenever you see me.